The internet was not what it is today. There were some databases that were available in kind of hidden parts of the internet, and I found one that su suggested there was a certain document and it quoted from part of it. That document was, as it turns out, not only secret, but there was a court order preventing anyone from mentioning it. Think about that for a second. Think about the power of a corporation that can get an order no one's allowed to even mention that document. But I didn't, I didn't know about that court order. I knew I needed that. I knew I wanted that. And so I just kept finding different ways of trying to get General Motors to give it to us, getting court orders of my own, asking in many different ways. One of the orders that we got required them to produce something to us within 24 hours or face very severe sanctions. GM's not afraid of monetary sanctions. Oh, fine me $10,000, fine us $100,000. Who cares, it's nothing, because the penalty's never enough. But this judge said, Well, General Motors is here in front of me right now. Although I can't see them, okay, I can certainly order them to do something. I want this document there within 24 hours or I might strike your pleadings. What that means is, you lose. I'm gonna find in favor of the plaintiff because you're violating my orders. Now that's a sanction. So they scurried around back at GM headquarters, we now know, raced around trying to comply with that court order, and they gave me the document. They shipped it by Federal Express to a young lawyers who came to the office, and Raina, she read it, and she called me immediately. She said, you're not gonna believe what this says. It was the forbidden document. I was speechless. I couldn't believe what I had in my hand. I couldn't believe what we were reading and I also couldn't believe that they had produced it to us in this FedEx package. It was something that they put in writing that they never thought would ever see the light of day. That's when the truth started to come out with that document. They had lied about it for decades in so many other cases like ours. There was a moment during the trial after the judge ordered General Motors to give us that document. But before we had it in our hands, General Motors lawyer called and said, we want to settle before we got the document. So we would never get the document. We had to decide, were we willing to let it go for $50 million? And that family said, no, the truth has to come out. People who say, oh, it's all about money, civil lawsuits, it's, you know, people trying to get money. I always think of that moment in that family. It wasn't about money, not one bit. We had the documents to prove that they had designed a shield for this vehicle, that they had tested it, that they had costed it out, and it was ready to go into production and it would have fixed our defect. You never know which way it's going to go. After hearing all the evidence, hearing about all the evil corporate secret, there was still a chance that the jury wasn't going to take our side. 